Lewis here, R Shack Barbecue and other things. So today is one of those other things. I'm out here in my uh, 2007 Dodge Ram 1500 half ton, uh, 5.7 four wheel drive Hemi, you know, all that. Uh, this is the uh, big horn edition, if you want to know the model number. But anyhow, uh, this last winter, I noticed that when I take my uh, four-wheel drive selector and put it in auto or uh, high, four-wheel drive high, uh, the little indicator light on the dash just sits there and blinks. And uh, my research tells me that is a sign of it not actually engaging uh, into four-wheel drive. So uh, first thing I did this spring was I cleaned the little uh, plug for uh, the sensor and uh, that didn't help. I think I got a little sunshine there. Um, so now um, the next step will be replacing the uh, front, uh, what would you call it, drive front sh shaft, uh, the uh, gear uh, actuator that actually switches over when you do it and uh, puts it in four-wheel drive uh, so it locks the front hub if you want to call it that um, anyway so i ordered the part i got it off amazon it was on sale for uh, 99 dollars, so i went ahead and bought it um, and uh, i'm going to drive around back and i'll show you what the sensor does here uh, we'll get this up on some ramps and replace that uh, actuator and see if that is the culprit of why uh, this thing won't, uh, you know, engage into four-wheel drive. So first step, getting it to the back to the shop, and uh, we'll take a look at it. Regulators, mount up. Okay, so here is the uh, switch to put it in auto or four-wheel drive or four low. Uh, right now I have it in drive. Uh, I can put it in auto or lock while it's in drive. Uh, they recommend put it in neutral to do the uh, low, uh, but uh, we'll just switch it to auto. And you can see right there is the indicator light. And all it's doing is blinking. Now, once it engages, I'm gonna pull forward a little bit. It's supposed to quit blinking. But in this case, you can see I'm pulling forward here. It just continues to blink. So they're saying that's a sign that it's not actually engaging into four-wheel drive. So we'll replace that actuator and see if that uh, solves our problem. This lilac bush just smells amazing. All right. So this is the part I ordered. Uh, it's a Dorman OE Solutions. This is part number 600-399 four-wheel drive actuator. Uh, like I said, I got this off Amazon. Uh, it was $99 on sale. I think it was like 104 regular. Um, so let's open it up. Did poke through the box there, so hopefully nothing is damaged. 
that easy so this is the actuator here hmm did not come with it looks like a gasket I thought for sure it would um, but it looks like it's missing the gasket that's the plug I've already cleaned on the other one um, and uh, there's the part number let me see if there's a gasket in the box yeah there's no gasket in the box I also bought some gear lube oil and a funnel for it. Uh, they say once you start unbolting this, you're probably going to have uh, gear lube oil leaking out. So I have a drain pan and uh, it's 13 millimeter bolts that hold this up in there. Um, so I've got my socket. Got my sockets ready to go, two different size, you know, a small and then a large breaker. Um, and as you can see here, between my two trailers, I don't have a whole lot of room between the smoker trailer and my cargo trailer. Um, probably end up selling this cargo trailer. I don't ever really use it. So I got it up on the ramps, got my drip pan. Let's crawl under there and see what we got. Okay, hopefully you can see this well enough. Uh, here is the actuator on the front diff differential. Um, and there's four bolts. There's one here, one here, one up here, and one here that hold this on there. The uh, wire electrical uh, sensor connection is back here. We'll start out by disconnecting that. And I don't have my glasses on, so I can't really see. <laughs> But uh, we'll start with uh, disconnecting this, and then we'll start loosening these. And this is where they say you'll get gear oil dripping down. Um, so we'll just take that easy and uh, see what happens. So you can see this is the actuator here, and it's right below your oil filter. So if you're wondering where it is, it's right below there on the front axle. I thought they said you just pinch it. Yeah, you just pinch it and it slides right off. So that's disconnected. And now we need to do the four bolts. I'm gonna put this on here. Not wanting to get any oil on me, so. I'm just take it kind of slow, but, and I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to reuse the casket. Oops. So. All right, so I got them all loose. I'm going to back my butt out. Come out in a different angle here, so there we go. Now, keep in mind, I'm just a backyard guy, so if you do this, you're on your own. I'm not taking any responsibility. You can watch other YouTube videos and figure out how to do your own. But, I'm going to show you where it's at, and I'm going to do mine. It doesn't really seem to be that difficult, honestly. It's all plastic, other than the uh, metal actuator itself, but this piece is plastic. Yeah. Let's see. There's the oil. Let's put our pan in the right spot. There we go. Well, at least we know we have oil in it. I 
I just don't know. Hold on. So that's how long it is. There's no O rings or anything on the bolts themselves. I guess it does have some kind of rubber gasket. I'll show you it more out uh, there. But let's go take a look at it. Okay, here's the old one. And I'm talking about, I don't know if you can see it. But there is like a little rubber seal around here. And this one does have it too. It's on there. Um, what they say is that these here wear out the actual uh, electrical components part of it and uh, they eventually need to be replaced and that's what we're going to do. So you can see it's fairly much the same thing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go into there, I'm going to wipe off where this housing sits uh, on the uh, differential, kind of get it cleaned up and then put this back, put the new one on there. Okay, so you can see I just got it wiped off. Uh, it actually cleaned up really nice. I uh, didn't have to do any scraping or anything like that on it since it's metal to metal. That oil, that oil, uh, that little uh, rubber type gasket around it fits inside here. So uh, just the oil and some grime just wiped right off. So let's get the new one on. I'm going to tell you that this body of this actuator is plastic, so you can't torque these too much. Just get them good and hand tight. You don't want to start cracking that plastic. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to call that good. Let's get our connection on it. All right, click in. Nice and tight. All right. Get a grip pan back over here. See Might have to get. Oh, I don't know. There, got it. So you can see it's just a rubber gasket for the diff. See what happens here. Stick this up in here. Yeah. Wipe that off. Make it a mess. Yes, like they say, if you got it rolling out of there, you know you got enough in it. So, looks like it's coming out. So, I can 
Yep. All right, I'm gonna call that full. Plus I'm sitting in an angle too. I shouldn't have probably done that. Should have dropped the car down before doing that and dropped the... We'll see what happens. Okay, got the cap back on. Got a little bit of a excess flowing down here, but hey. We'll see how we do here. Alright. So we got the new one on. Put some uh, deer oil in it. And uh, let's see if she wants to work now. Sports fans, backyard mechanics, all my friends. Let's uh, just take her out and see uh, if we got her fixed. Get her down off these ramps. Everything goes smoothly. Back it out of the gate here. does and oh my look at there it's solid let's just see if it feels like she's engaged monitor is in the way but a sharp turn you can feel yeah it definitely feels like it's engaged Definitely feels engaged here. So that's a win. All right. Okay, for me, replacing that front actuator fixed my four wheel drive problem. I got four wheel drive now. So back in business, time to go climb some mountains. <laughs> no, it's mainly winter driving. But anyhow, Pretty simple little job. Just got to give yourself some room under there to crawl under and uh, replace that actuator. Uh, and uh, everything lined up just perfect. Things engaging, doing exactly what it's supposed to. Probably overfilled the uh, front axle diff uh, with the gear lube because I had it up. Should have done it when it was level. So keep that in mind if you do it uh, to check that level. Uh, do it when it's level. Don't, don't do it jacked up in the air. Um, I don't know. Anyhow, hope this helps somebody. It definitely, you know, gets my truck uh, doing what I want it to do. Uh, so thank you for watching. And until next time, mechanic on, my friends. <laughs>